हैव यू सीन दैट मीम पैसा ही पैसा होगा वेल लेट्स बी ऑनेस्ट ऑल ऑफ अस हैव वन गोल इन आर लाइफ एंड दैट इज टू बिकम फाइनेंशियली स्टेबल एंड इंडिपेंडेंट बट गेटिंग देयर इज नॉट एन इजी टास्क देयर इज सो मच दैट नीड्स टू बी डन यू नीड टू लर्न थिंग्स होन स्किल्स एंड लैंड अ जॉब फॉर स्टार्टर्स बट नोबडी टॉक्स अबाउट व्हाट टू लर्न एंड व्हिच स्किल्स विल गेट देम अ हाई पेइंग जॉब this video is going to change that for you if you're driven towards a finance background or are already an mba finance student in this video i'm going to talk about the top 5 finance skills that will lead you towards the highest paying jobs and all these skills will set you up for jobs in domains like audit and assurance corporate finance investment banking equity research risk analysis and the list is never ending and i'm not just going to list the skills and leave you hanging as promised in the title i'll also be sharing some amazing free learning resources to help you actually build these skills you will find all the resources links attached in the description below for future reference also one more thing by the end of this video i'm going to talk about one resource which will allow you to master all these five skills and provide you with a competitive edge so do not skip do follow along so let's get started with a no bs discussion about top 5 finance skills so the first one is corporate finance corporate finance is all about how businesses manage their money starting from raising capital to investing it wisely while also making sure it's used in a way that brings the company's value to the maximum There are three core decisions in corporate finance: investment decisions, where should the company put its money to get the best return; financing decisions, should it raise money through equity or debt; dividend decisions, once profits are earned, how much should be given to shareholders and how much should be reinvested in the business. Every major decision a company makes, whether it's launching a new product, acquiring another business, or expanding to a new market, has financial implications or consequences. and corporate finance helps you understand exactly that let's take a simple example if a company wants to build a new factory corporate finance will help answer do we have the funds to do this should we take a loan or issue more shares will this factory generate enough profit to make the investment worth it now here's something important corporate finance isn't just for cfos or investment bankers if you are in finance business strategy or even operations you need to understand how capital is raised used and managed because at the end of the day every team's decision affects the company's bottom line so how do you get started with learning corporate finance here's a completely free full course called investment banking but it covers all the topics of corporate finance in depth You can search for investment banking course on YouTube directly or check the link in the description. Now before you make these decisions that we just talked about there's one important thing you need to consider that is how the company is currently performing. And this is done through financial reporting and analysis. Now to assess any company's financial performance we rely on financial statements like balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. These statements are like the report cards of a company. They tell you what the company owns, what it owes and how much it earns and how the cash is moving in and out. Let's take an example where a company's revenue has gone up but profits are falling. Just reading the income statement can tell you that. But when you analyze it, you may find out that costs are rising faster than sales, maybe due to poor pricing or operational inefficiency. This kind of insight can help decision makers fix issues at an early stage. Now, you don't need to know how to create these reports, but you should, however, know how to read them and how to draw inferences from them. So, here is one free resource by Babson College offered by edX. You can use this course to get started with building your fundamentals around the skill. So once you have made the decisions you should be able to predict or basically have some sort of idea of the results or implications of those decisions for this purpose we need a next skill which is financial modeling a financial model is basically an excel based tool that helps you simulate a company's financial future whether you want to know what the company's revenue will look like in next 5 years or how much profit it can generate a financial model can help you with it All the concepts you learn in corporate finance like capital budgeting, debt versus equity decisions and return on investment are applied inside a financial model. Let's say a company wants to launch a new product. We already know that corporate finance will help decide if it's a good idea, but financial modeling will help prove it with numbers. Now there are different types of models. Three statement models which link the income state, balance sheet and cash flow, DSF models for company valuation, and mna or lbo models which are used in investment banking and private equity 
Now you don't have to stress about these complex terms. Rather, all you need to do is keep in mind that you should know how to build a working model, connect financial statements and draw real insights from it. To help you get started, I have looked up this free resource by Gridlines, which is perfect to get you started. Moving on to the next skill, accounting. Now I know this one sounds a little intimidating, but do not worry, you just have to focus on the basics. You should be able to make sense of the numbers you're working with. Say a company spends money on marketing, through accounting, this expense is going to be recorded. That entry shows up in the income statement. That same number feeds into your financial model. And then someone in corporate finance decides whether that marketing is delivering a good return. So it all starts with accounting. So you basically need to understand the basics like what debits and credits are, how journal entries work, and the difference between cash and accrual accounting. Knowing this helps you speak the language of finance with confidence whether you're analyzing statements, building models, or advising on business strategy. You can check out the financial accounting course by MIT which is also available on edX. Now the last skill that we'll be covering is mergers and acquisitions or M&A. This is the area where companies don't just grow internally, they grow by buying or joining forces with other companies. To learn this skill, you should have an idea about the previous skills we talked about. Let's quickly see why. Suppose a tech company wants to acquire a smaller AI startup. Before making that move, they need to be clear about a few things. How much is the startup worth? How will it impact their profits and cash flow? Can they afford the deal? If yes, will it be through cash, debt or stock? And lastly, will the cultures and operations integrate smoothly? And to answer all these questions with data, we need all the skills we just talked about. So to get started with M&A, first you need to start with case studies and learn why certain companies merged, how they structured the deal and what the outcome was. Then you move to the basics of M&A modeling. It's an advanced form of financial modeling where you combine the financials of two companies and project the combined performance. Finally, you need to build your understanding of valuation methods like DCF, discounted cash flow, comparable company analysis and precedent transactions because these are the tools used to price a deal. If you're interested in acquiring the skill, Neptel has a free course on mergers, acquisitions, and corporate restructuring. This is perfect for beginners. It's designed to simplify complex concepts and is a great starting point for anyone interested in this domain. Now, if you're worried about going to different places to learn each skill separately, do not worry at all. I have already found the perfect program for you. I am Ranchi is offering an investment banking course that covers everything you need in one place. I am Ranchi is an institute of national importance. It is known for its academic excellence and industry-oriented curriculum, making it the ideal destination to launch or elevate your career in investment banking. The free resources that I mentioned were great to get you started, but they lack proper mentorship, hands-on projects, or case studies. This course is different. Here you get one-on-one -on -one mentorship, real-life case studies, 24-7 support if you're stuck somewhere, live interactive sessions with IM faculty themselves, and practical projects that help you build actual skills, not just theory. And these faculty that you will be interacting with also have a background in IB and finance itself. They are highly qualified and have minimum of 10 years of experience on their backs. Plus, you'll gain an alumni status of IM Ranchi, a three-day campus immersion, and exclusive networking opportunities. And here's the best part. You can enroll for this program without the CAT exam. I have provided the link in the description. Do check it out and begin your journey right away. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you and see you in the next video.